Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Communities across the Wabash Valley look at ways to boost their local economies. For one, that even includes changing an industrial park to fit specific needs. News 10's Hunter Petroviak joins us now to explain. Hunter? Patrice, the U.S. 41 Industrial Park in Knox County is already home to a couple of big businesses. Now, to attract more businesses to that park, there's an effort underway to split up the land. This empty land could soon be home to several businesses. That's as Knox County Development Corporation looks to attract more companies to the industrial park. Kent Utt with KCDC says they're looking to accommodate what owners want. One of the things that really surfaced is that there's a lot more focus on entrepreneurship. And, and businesses with that 25 and under uh, employment base that are needing other places to locate. Uh, it says the industrial park is already home to a 450,000 square foot company, but says some companies don't want or need a building of that size, making them work to split the land into smaller pieces to make it more marketable. Right now, the covenants call for this to be nine and a half acres. So we're looking to rewrite the covenants to using three acre tracks, and we're working with an engineer to Look, work at the, look at the design and see how it best fits in coming in off of Elkhorn Road. As they look at other ways to attract companies to the industrial park, another tool could be a shell building on one of the properties, allowing a company to come in and make the building what they want. A lot of the companies that are looking at to locate that's coming through the leads through the IEDC at the state already want, they want an existing building. So about two-thirds of the requests that we get from the state one an existing building, so it, it's definitely something that we're considering doing. Uh, says separating the land really could only take about three months. Constructing a building might take a little more time as it is an investment they'd have to make. They also purchased around 100 more acres to the south as they work to expand the area. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Hunter. 